Things need to change. I need to change. It's Wednesday, the 14th of March, 2018. And I realize I can't go on how I am with my eating, my food habits. So I'm going back on Atkins and I want you guys to come on my journey with me. I'm gonna show you my weight. I'm gonna show you how overweight I actually am. Now, you guys might think that's a bit weird, but I think for me to motivate myself, I need to shame myself, if that makes sense. It's gonna be a good journey. It's worked in the past. So hopefully, dedication, I don't give in. I have strong willpower. It should work. I've tried other diets, eating healthy, slimming world. Slimming world is good in theory. I know friends who have lost a lot of weight on the Slimming World diet, and I mean a lot of weight. So it does work, but it just doesn't work for me. But each body's different, and obviously my body needs basically no carbs. So what I've got to do, I have to stop all my carb intake. I need to then also get rid of the carbs that are already storing fat in my body and then we can start to see the weight loss and that's what I'm looking for I'm gonna be exercising I'm gonna bring you guys with me while I'm doing this so hopefully it works out well obviously if I don't lose weight or for whatever reason I don't carry on I will not be showing you this the early stages basically so but I'm determined I'm gonna do it so, um, let's go to weigh-in. <sighs> 97 kilo. This is not at the level I want to be. Now I'm 38 at the moment. Later on this year, I will be 39. And maybe that's okay for some people of that age. Well, it's not, not what I want. Sometimes I struggle to put socks on. Can you understand? I st I'm still young up here, but the old body, it don't, it don't like me. <laughs> and it's just, I don't know, I mean, look at this. Look at that disgusting and I want it to go I need it to go I need to <sighs> totally change my outlook on life <clears throat> how I eat what I eat and for me the only way to do that is to go on a low carb diet such as Atkins because it works it's worked in the past and hopefully fingers crossed it will work this time Right, so first off, we'll go for the old waist. 41 and a half inches from my waist. That is disgusting. Absolute. Oh, it's horrible. Absolutely horrible. Me old hips. 43. 43. Fuck's sake. We'll go for lower stomach. Ooh. 41, that's not as bad. 41 and a half on my lower stomach. The old uh, belly bit there. diet it's got to be done it may not be the healthiest but it gets results and I need results so let's go get some food 
starting off cream in my coffee. Let's find some meat. Beef burgers as well. Got me shopping. Got me meat. Let's go have breakfast. Well, day three, and I'm doing well. I'm pushing on. I haven't crumbled. I am still on basically carb free food I'm hitting over 10,000 steps a day so far which is about five kilometers so that's not too bad uh, I'm doing exercises in the home I'm still going to work I'm not crumbling I haven't eaten chocolate do you know how bad I want chocolate chocolate is my enemy and biscuits biscuits and chocolate bars oh it's definitely something that will be a struggle I think in the, the later weeks as we progress uh, I haven't weighed myself yet because it's only day three pretty pointless really but I suppose if I've lost a few pounds um, it'll give me extra motivation but if I haven't lost anything then it might be put me on a downer and I'll be like oh, really do I really need to bother the worst thing is when I'm at work and I go shopping with my work uh, people and obviously there's temptation to buy like the things that they buy in their house chocolates crisps cakes ice cream and I'm like oh I have to have meat no more milk I'm on cream in my coffee which is mwah, awesome so that is one improvement is the cream in my coffee makes my coffees awesome so yeah that's a good thing so it's just about getting out and about doing exercise because obviously the nutrition side is about 80% of uh, how you lose weight but you also need to exercise so don't just sit on your ass and think oh I'm, I'm on a diet that'll do I'll lose weight well we might work but probably it won't you need to have that activity in your life getting out and about do some walking go to the gym do some sit-ups at home you know do some free weights in your in your bedroom or whatever it's wednesday one week into my journey it's weigh-in day today one week i've been on atkins so far i've done so well with my eating I think my carbs intake yesterday was less than eight. Very good. I'm allowed 20 per day. So if I have in less than eight, that's, uh, phew, that's really good. So I'm hoping I've lost some weight. I will be absolutely gutted if I haven't because I've done Atkins many times and I don't think I've ever worked as hard as I have this week on Atkins. Um, obviously it's just getting your body used to what's happening to it and I'm trying to flush all the carbs all the stored fat that's still in my body so hopefully all the exercise and the really good eating on Atkins has been working so it's time to weigh myself time to weigh myself week one I don't really want to look 93.1 get in my son that is nearly four kilograms of weight loss. Four kilograms! That's like eight pounds oh, in one week. Yes! Come on! Oh, that's awesome. I'm so happy. That's keep me motivated because when you do diets and you try and change your lifestyle, often you get knockbacks, you get setbacks. And when you don't lose as much weight or lose any weight as you thought you would, it can put you on the downer and they make you not feel motivated, not want to do it anymore. And so, oh, I didn't lose weight anyway, so I'll just have that chocolate bar, or I'll have those crisps, or those chips, or pizza. 
but don't just stick with it guys stick with it that's my advice to you so now it's time to measure myself see if I still need timber on the old belly it's still there hopefully I've lost a few inches so we're gonna go with waist first last week my waist was 41.5 hope this is less than that this week 40.5 so one inch weight loss on my my waist area well happy with that one inch there let's go with my old hips between 42 and 42 and a half I'll go 42 and a half because last week it was 43 so it's still inches lost more to work on for this week. And I haven't really lost. Same at the lower stomach, 41.5. So this is the area I need to work on uh, for next week and the coming weeks. Is my lower belly because this is really difficult. I mean, look at that. What's that about? Who likes that? This is what I need to work on. Doing more sit-ups, more crunches. This bit. So I'm really happy with my progress so far. Week one. I've lost nearly four kilos in weight and I've lost like two and a half inches in belly size. So, yes, that's what I'm talking about. So happy. Right, now it's time to make some food. So this is just an example of some of the food that I'm eating. This is a, an omelette, three egg omelette, no milk. And it has chicken, cheese, and bacon in. Very low carb, maybe one, one and a half at the most. So a great idea. This will fill me up now. It's like, it's lunchtime. This is my lunch. And this will fill me up till tonight when I have dinner. And I won't be trying to get snacks or craving anything. So it's a good way. Stick to carb, free food. And just try and be imaginative. Think of what you can do. You can add broccoli to this. Uh, that's another good idea to add to your food. Very healthy for you and low in carbs. When I'm out shopping, if I'm at home shopping or work shopping, and you think, oh, chocolate. Chocolate and biscuits have, have always been my downfall. <laughs> Big bar of chocolate every day, if I was out anyway. Yeah, I've just always had chocolate, always. Not so much cakes, don't really eat cakes. Don't really eat crisps. It's biscuits and chocolate. And at the moment, it's so hard to resist. Obviously, I had quite good weight loss week one. Hopefully that continues in week two. And I just progress and go forward because I don't want to go backwards. I don't want to stand still. I feel myself that if my weight isn't dropping, then I don't know what to do because my carb intake is very low. And in theory, that is what the diet does. That's how you lose the weight because it gets rid of all the stored fat, which is the carbs in the body. And it's slowly using those that are already in the body as the energy. Because obviously you have uh, the, the sort of food you can have on this diet, you have like bacon, fried bacon, fried egg, sausages, quite a high fat content. So obviously that is your energy for the day, but you'll burn that quite quickly. So this is why you don't put weight on. And obviously after that energy is gone from the food that you're eating, it's got to get energy from somewhere. So that's how the fat disappears from your body and the weight on Atkins because the stored fat that's already there has to be used. If you're eating carbs, it just adds to it, or it takes the uh, the carb intake that you've just had, takes some of that for your energy, because obviously carbs are like slow burners, slow energy release. So I'm looking forward to this week's weigh-in, or am I? <laughs> I don't know what to expect, really. I'm hoping that the weight has continued to drop, because I have been walking lots this week in week two and I haven't cheated once on my diet. It's just that, it's having that willpower to not give in 
and you have a goal and you set yourself that goal and you you strive to achieve that goal I need to do this and in the future I will slowly like because I'm on cream for my coffee and in jelly because it's all carb free I want to come off the cream because obviously long term lots of cream in the body is not good for you obviously in the future I want to go on to unsweetened almond milk in my coffee now I think I've had it before and it's horrible but obviously it's better for the body than the cream don't go back to the pizzas and the crisps and the biscuits and the cho chocolate oh could I go forever without chocolate <laughs> I don't know if I could do that so guys it's now week two time for weighing fingers crossed that my weight loss has continued and my progression to become a slimmer person and a healthier person is still on track Okay. Yes, 91.5, get in my son! The weight loss has continued, my hard work is paying off. Now, all I'm doing for exercise wise, I'm doing sit ups, I'm doing stomach crunches, uh, basically stomach exercises at the moment, and doing lots of walking. Now, I should really be going out running, go to the gym, and this is where I will start picking it up in the coming weeks. Going to the gym and just running more. Because for me in the past, running has been the best way to lose weight, to lose belly weight. I don't know why, but it bounces up and down. <laughs> so I've got a tape measure. It's now time to do the all important measuring. So I'm going to start with the waist. Obviously if there's no size difference then I'm going to have to increase my exercise and that sort of thing. So start with the waist. And we're on 40. So I've lost another half inch off my waist. Right, hips now. Hips 41. Last week my hips were 42.5, so I've lost one and a half inches off my hips. I like that. Now we're gonna go for the lower stomach, the horrible belly bit, 40.5. And I've lost another inch off my lower belly, my stomach area. So what's that, three inches this week? Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Three inches off my belly this week. I am so happy with that. So half an inch off my waist, an inch and a half off my hips, and one inch off my lower stomach. I can feel it actually, because I bought a new top the other day, nice hoodie, and I bought a large instead of extra large, and it was a little bit baggy. It wasn't tight, so in the past, that would have been an issue for me, hence why I buy extra large. But now I'm into the large and the hoodie, and I'm, I'm, I'm happy, I'm happy. So, time to rock on a smash week three as I'm continuing and yes, so happy, so happy. So after my great weigh in again this morning, uh, I've come up to Western Fair, I've come up to Tesco, and I've restocked on the meat, because I've run out. I've got bacon, I've got sausage patties, I've got jelly, yeah, sugar-free jelly. Basically has zero carbs in, so good. I also got, uh, what was it, coconut milk, I, I think it was, and the carb in that is amazing. It's 0 0.3 grams of carbs per 100 ml of the milk. Wow! So I'm gonna try that in my coffee because, as I said before, I wanna get rid of the, the cream out of my life. Uh, it's not good for me. I just wanna try and phase myself on something else. Although, it's probably gonna be disgusting. Uh, but I'll have to give it a go and have a look, see what it's like. So guys, it's now a good Friday and I'm keeping my steps up. I smashed out like nearly 16,000 steps yesterday 
and every day so far on this Atkins diet, I've gone over 10,000 steps, which is my goal to maintain my exercise and my heartbeat and all that sort of stuff, just to keep the, the exercise going throughout my body, making sure I'm constantly trying to burn as much fat out of, my, out of me as possible. I was trying to get rid of the cream. I have succeeded, yes. I've managed to find this uh, coconut milk. Yeah, it's dairy free, no sugar. It's actually not too bad to be fair. So it's got basically zero carbs in and it is okay to drink with my coffee. Uh, obviously I'm not having milk. I don't want to have the cream anymore because it's not good for me. And anyway, the cream has actually got a higher content of carbs than this drink. So it's win-win for me. I'm eating less carbs by having this in my coffee. So this is good. It's a dairy-free, unsweetened um, drink. Good for smoothies, breakfast cereal, tea, coffee, or any sweet and savory dishes. Free from lactose and soya. So basically, I have no idea what's in it, <laughs> apart from coconut milk. But it's good for me, and yeah, it's, it's doing well. i um, been using it for two days now, and it, it's working for me, it's fine. I'm not missing the cream. For me to carry on this, this journey of low carb and maintain it, it's not gonna work for me if I have the cream forever, because that's just gonna clog up my arteries, give me high cholesterol, blah, 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 blah. And that's not what I want. I want a, a lifestyle change and not just to lose a bit of weight for eight weeks. So, because that's the eight weeks, is normally the mark I get to when I start sneaking food back in and it's like, yeah, yeah, I've done it. I've lost like a stone and a half, that's fine. But this time I want to continue it and change my body for good. The meals I can keep doing, I can still have the chicken, uh, probably not the bacon or the sausages that are fried. I can replace the fried eggs with poached eggs, uh, get rid of the bacon and the sausages, for breakfast, I can have like chicken breast, still have the broccoli, the Brussels sprouts, green veg, things like that. That is all good for me, good for the body, but also maintaining the level of carbs that will not basically make me put weight back on, which is what I want because I don't want it. I don't want to have the weight back on. I'm happy at the moment how I am. My clothes fit so much better now. I sometimes, you know, when you're walking around shopping centres and you have a dark windowed shop and you walk past and you look into it and you can see your, your reflection yourself. My belly's big. I never realized what my belly looked like while wearing my coat and that. I wasn't happy when I saw it last time. It was, I was like, whoa, am I really that fat? You know, I didn't, I was not happy and it kind of gets you down a bit. But at the moment, energy levels are high. I'm doing lots of walking lots of uh, stomach core exercises in my house. I will be going back to the gym next week, go start running again. And hopefully, because obviously each week it's gonna be more difficult for me to lose weight because slowly there'll be not as much to lose and it makes it more difficult to uh, keep maintaining the weight loss. Well, it's now Easter Sunday and this is the day that could have been problematic for me. Obviously everyone's eating chocolate I'm not allowed chocolate, but I have purchased myself an Easter egg and this would be my first treat in three weeks since I started my Atkins diet. It's going to be the only time on my eight week journey to begin with that I'm going to cheat. So I love Ferrero Rocher. Do you think it's wrong to cheat? No. It's better to get it out of the way and then carry on with your diet move on if you if you want if you want chocolate have a bit of chocolate don't don't fight the craving don't put yourself in a situation where you become miserable because that's not going to benefit anybody you need you need to just if you fancy chocolate have a bit if you fancy a packet of crisps have them obviously sometimes you can't you can't do it all the time but the odd occasion, it's the first time in three weeks. So I think, yes, I'm gonna have it. And I will enjoy it, I will savor the moment. And then tonight, 
and tomorrow onwards I can progress and keep going and push on to lose more weight it's not that big to be fair so it's only three Ferrero Rocher and an egg so I'm going to enjoy this I think I deserve the treat I've done well I've lost nearly 12 pounds so you know, let's push on <laughs>